We're sneaking up on Labor Day, which means it's time to start getting back into our shops, making some projects, hopefully some gifts for other people. And I've got three gift ideas that are super easy to make, but have a big impact. I got a sizable chunk of wood, probably a lot more than what I really need. I'm gonna take this and just kind of cut it up into a bunch of funky shapes. I could tilt my bandsaw over an angle, cut it to uh, whatever kind of looks good by the eye, do a whole lot of sanding just to do a little bit of cleanup, nothing perfect, and just kind of have fun with it. I got some pieces that go together, but now I want to throw some bevels on this just here and there, whatever angles look good. Something just to give it a little bit of visual interest. And I might make one block a little bit lower than the other block to break up the look a little bit. Over here at the drill press, and I've got a pretty good size forster bit. So plan is to drill holes in all three of my blocks. holes are drilled. Now I'm going to put little plants in it and then it's the perfect gift to hand out to somebody, especially a housewarming gift. Now the thing is, is that I don't really have anybody to give this to right at this second. And if I put a real plant in there, I will probably most likely definitely kill it before I actually give this away. So I'm going to go with a fake plant. I got some floral foam that's going to work perfect for this. Now I just need to cut out some cylinders and put it into the holes I cut. For cylinders, how do I cut cylinders uh, from foam? I just do a little bit of tried and true finish on these and they're absolutely gorgeous. They fit together multiple ways and there wasn't a whole lot of complex math. I was just going off the eye to whatever looks good. You can group them together or you can break them apart and move them around in different configurations. This is a really cool gift, but let's go with something a completely different style. I got a really nice piece of white oak here. It has all straight grain. I think that's gonna be kind of cool. So I'm gonna take this board, I'm gonna rip it in half, get two boards out of it. Then I'll do some cleanup work, remove all the saw marks, all that stuff, plane it down to the size that I want, and then sand it all smooth. Basically get everything ready for the next steps, which will be to turn this into the next gift idea. I got my boards and I've got some notebook paper. So I'm gonna put my paper on here and try to get it even as much as I can around all of the sides. When it looks good, trace out some circles. Take both my pieces, stick them together with some double-sided tape, go to the drill press, drill out all of my holes at the same time. Backer board and some paper and thread a little piece of leather through it. At the top board, I'm gonna wrap it through twice. Pull it till it's snug, but not too tight. And then just a simple knot should work. Make sure the knot is tight and trim off the ends. Five more to go. Just like that, we have a notebook with wood covers. And this is cool because we can completely personalize this. We can engrave the front of it and also the binding that holds everything together. I went with leather cord, but you could go with metal clips or something else, whatever kind of works for you. So this one is really cool. I think I should make a whole bunch of these and batch them out. That's two gifts down, but with kids going back to school, schedules getting crazy, let's come up with another gift project that is kind of towards health and well being. Well, at least for the parents. This project is dirt simple, but has a cool impact. And it really only takes a piece of wood that you would probably find in your firewood pile. I grabbed a small chunk of wood, something that you would probably just find out in the woods somewhere, and it's got some bark. I'm gonna rip the bark off, see what it looks like underneath. If you're questioning why take off the bark at all, well, it kind of depends on the log, right? Because this one, the bark is naturally coming off. So it's gonna come off regardless if I do it or if it uh, 
does it on its own. So I might as well get it off now because I would hate to have it fall off on somebody's kitchen table. Look at that, that's insane. Now I've done this before where I've taken off bark and it looks kind of ugly underneath. Sometimes though, you luck out, it looks like this. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, next step is I'm gonna mark where I wanna drill a couple holes at. So I'll just move a couple inches down from the top, mark where I wanna drill a hole, then move a few more inches down, mark again. I'll probably make these a little bit off center because that live edge is a little bit wavy and you can't really tell exactly where the center point is. Then I'll head over to the drill press and drill out both holes. That turned out pretty okay. So now I'm gonna go over to the table saw and cut an angle along the bottom. And I'll cut an angle and I'll see if I like it. And if not, maybe I'll adjust it and mess around with my angle until I get the board how I want it. I absolutely love this one. I've done a couple different wine holder projects in the past, but this might be my favorite. It always helps to find a really great piece of wood and I didn't know what I was working with here until I started taking it apart. And hey, it could have turned out bad, but I got lucky, this one turned out amazing. The good thing though is that it doesn't matter what type of wood because the concept really is the same regardless because I made another version of this just using a two by four to see how that would work. And hey, it works just fine too. Not as pretty, but just fine. So this is a good project that you can customize to get the look that you're going for. There we go, three projects, really easy to knock out, not really labor intensive, but big impacts. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and to meet again, get in your shop and build something awesome.